money, no honey. Okay. The managers be messy, y'all. Let's just walk through selling a bottle, right? Girl, pour that bottle out. When I walk into the first thing, I'm First and only friend I'm making. So this is how I would ask for a tip. I'd be saving the floor chart every single night as my screensaver. Bro, my cats are like really beefing right now. You just have to learn to adapt to every situation differently. Beginning of the night, if it's busy, I'll be like, this is how I'll give the number. I'll be like, hey, here's my number. Make sure you text me if you guys need anything. It's really busy and I might not be able to check on you as much as I would like, but if you text me, if you need anything, I'll make sure you're straight. You don't want nobody playing with your money at the end of the day. I wish somebody would have told me this. Took to London just to hear how they talk. Back to four and no, you should hear how they talk. He might be Mr. Track and Fit, but I don't read through a mouth. Yeah, that nigga played the game just to watch. Okay, it is the moment I have personally been waiting for. Part three. So I'm gonna be talking today about server etiquette and basically give you the training that you need to know to be successful as the new girl in a new job. So part one, I talked about how to pick out and scout an opportunity in a job. And then part two, I talked about how to kill that interview, questions that you need to be asking them, as well as the questions that you should be prepared to answer. And today I'm getting into the details, how to start your new job and like act like you know what you're doing and how to make sure that you know you're you got your ducks in a row so this is going to be like a very like general broad everywhere type of video because i have so many notes but let's just get into it because y'all i wish somebody would have told me this so first thing uh what to wear they're gonna tell you what to wear as far as shoes most of the time you can just wear like black tennis shoes i switch between wearing my hirachis and my vans if they say all black okay for example i wear fishnets and then i wear knee-high socks another thing about your outfit okay make sure that whatever you wear like you're able to like you know lift your arms up and make sure like you don't have like deodorant clumps in here like you want to like make sure you do a a check okay i've worn like tube tops right bro they're gonna fall down like you have to make sure that the outfit is suited and then you have to keep your nails done because there's gonna be photographers there and you don't want to be carrying out a bottle and someone's taking a picture and video people are always gonna be taking their phones out and video recording you while you're bringing out the bottles you do not want your nails busted get press-ons if you have to okay um, in my fanny pack i always have pens um i have a chapstick or a lipstick I carry my ID and a credit card in like the front part of my my zipper pockets and I usually bring like some change in like $50 worth of change hookah tips but you'll once you get there people are always gonna be asking me tables will always ask you for hookah tips so I always grab a bunch of hookah tips when I first get there and load up my purse with them thing is you need to find out who is who when you get there. Figure out exactly who is who. Who are the managers? What girls have been there the longest? What girls just got there? Who are the owners? Does the owner's wife come in all the time? Who is she? Who are, like, there's certain, who are the regulars? Like, these are important people to know um, because, <laughs> man. Okay, let me tell y'all a quick story time. It was a restaurant. It was owned by a rapper. It was very busy in this restaurant at the time and this late woman sits down and it's like two people open her open right and a group of two had came in and the wait for a table was literally over an hour and there was obviously these two spots at the bar but this woman was sitting in the middle of the two so I just walked up to her like, excuse me, do you mind scooting over one spot so that we can fit another group, right? She looked at me and she said, oh, I'm not going nowhere. And I'm like, okay, like, all right, you know, right? Okay, turns out it's the, rap, the, the owner's wife. So she was like basically the owner, you know, she's like, oh, I'm not moving. Over. Like I literally asked the owner's wife to move. <laughs> Embarrassing as fuck. Okay. But I didn't know who she was and I was trying to like do what I thought was best for the customer. Make sure you know who is who also because there's some regulars and it's like, you know, they're not about to tip you and they're literally a waste of your time. You want to give them like the bare minimum service because they're just going to be there in your way every single day. Or maybe there's regulars that tip really well so you know you want to make sure to get cool with them or maybe there's a regular that tries to chop up every new girl so you don't want to look dumb just spending all your time talking to them because all the other girls are gonna be laughing at you like 
there he goes with another new girl, you know? Who are the promoters, okay? Uh, because honestly, like you wanna be on the promoter's good side, but promoters, navigating promoters is so weird. I'm still getting used to it. Um, but it's important to know who they are because there's the ones that are getting a lot of like comped things, comped items. So a lot of times with the comp items, maybe you do or don't bring them in. So definitely I would ask, that's a good thing you need to know, like how do you guys deal with your promoters? Who are they? And I always keep in my notes who they are and what they get comps exactly. So definitely learn how to navigate that. Don't expect good training. Do your best to ask questions while they're doing the training because yeah, I've never had like proper training in a like serving job. Like I've literally just had to learn as I went. And also it's like every club is different and every restaurant is different. So it's like you have to learn how to make money there based on the environment and the rules. And you know, it's like you just have to learn to adapt to every situation differently. You can't treat them all the same. Even when it comes down to like your bathroom breaks, like you want to plan them. Like make sure you go to the bathroom before it gets busy because when it's busy, it's so hard to go to the bathroom. So literally plan your bathroom breaks and be thinking about how quick you can get, go to the bathroom in your outfit. Like, does it take a lot to undo and snap and all of that? Like <clears throat> when it's busy, like going to the bathroom is like so inconvenient. So definitely try to go to the bathroom like before it gets crazy. Girl, pour that bottle out, okay? So boom, let's just walk through selling a bottle, right? So you sell a bottle, right? And you ring it in. Okay, rule number one. No money, no honey. Say so you gotta pay for this. Ain't no free. Okay, make sure you get that money first. Like, it's kind of hard when you're new, especially let's say it's not a bottle, just a drink, because you might not know how much it costs. But go ring it in and see how much it costs first and then you know actually do it like or ask somebody how much does this cost do not bring them nothing until you get that money okay that's very important make sure you get the money first because in a lot of places if they don't pay then you're going to be responsible for that if they run off on you so rule number one is that get the money first okay. rule number two what? don't forget to get the money hey. always get the money first always 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 get the money first at least two girls, like three if you can, or you know, the more girls, the better experience you're gonna be giving them. So, you know, do that, turn up. I would say like literally for like 30 seconds, and then like you can be the one, you, you, you'll hand the other girls your lights, right? Because now you have to pour out shots. So, also this is like a thought that you have to decide, but me, I always usually like pre-open the bottles because it can be hard to like twist them off and you don't wanna be struggling. So I try to pre-open the bottles before I bring them out. However, you might work in an environment where they'll be like, oh, like they might, they could question like, oh, is this even a new bottle or like, you know, try to fuck with you like that. But thankfully I haven't really worked in those type of environments. So I'm able to just open the bottles you know, before I bring them out. Yeah, especially with nails. No, du Duse is the worst. Duse and Hennessy, because they have that little tab thing. Yeah, and it, I cut myself on them, like open your bottles beforehand. And then you're gonna wanna pour out shots. Now me, what I do is I take one cup and I fill the cup to the rim. And then, well, I set out the cups, you know, I try to take a count, I set out the cups. I fill one cup to the rim and then I use that one cup to pour into the other cups instead of like just pouring out the bottle into each one. Now you wanna give them pretty good sized cups. So after you do that, like usually you'll take a shot with them that's basically like, you know, and pour yourself a small or fake shot, you know, you cheers them and then you go back in and you make them drinks, okay? Then you make them drinks with ice. I usually try to like ask them like, oh, what do you want? You can try to just give them whatever and they'll probably be okay with it. Then you wanna keep coming back and pouring that bottle out. Like, and the best way is to try to be like, oh, let's take a shot, let's take a shot, let's take a shot. Like act like you're turning up with them, but really you want them to go through this bottle so that they order another one because you look dumb sitting in the club with the empty fucking bottle. So definitely your job is to pour out this bottle. Pour out the bottle. <laughs> pour out the bottle, okay? The thing that I do that seems like normal but in my club it's above and beyond is I always make sure they have enough chasers like I always am refilling them they never have to ask 
um, napkins, cups. I'm constantly cleaning up the table, but you have to be careful with cleaning up the table. You never want to take something unless somebody says they're done. Even especially in restaurants, like yo, I'm talking about if they ate this plate clean and I'll try to take it, and they'll be like, oh, I wasn't done licking the juice off the plate, like they'll be pissed so always ask like are you guys done or which one is yours you know in the club it can be hard to communicate because it's really loud but still try to at least do those type of things it's a little it definitely varies from like a club setting to like a restaurant or like lounge setting but i have worked in both so definitely drop any other questions you have if i don't go over them keep track of your money so i literally put in my phone every single night in one note how much money i made um, sometimes I'd even separate it like cash, credit card tip, or gratuity, or like you can just put the total. So you can be tracking, I put the date, the day of the week, and the amount I made. So I can kind of like know like what shifts to expect what, and also like just good bookkeeping keeping for yourself. Um, don't be afraid to ask for a tip, okay? Like, for real, like, okay, so this is how I would ask for a tip. So obviously you get the money up front for the bottle. This is their time to tip. They should be tipping here, right? But let's say they don't <clears throat> because that happens a lot. I'ma let you get lit now. Now I'ma let you get lit before I ask for a tip. And I'll wait till they look like they're ready to go, right? Thank you guys. Oh, also in this time, I'm getting their numbers for sure. If I didn't bring them there, I'm getting their numbers. Even at the beginning of the night, if it's busy, I'll be like, this is how I'll get their number. I'll be like, hey, here's my number. Make sure you text me if you guys need anything. It's really busy and I might not be able to check on you as much as, as I would like, but if you text me, if you need anything, I'll make sure you're straight. So definitely get their numbers. And when I save their numbers, I put bottle service next to all of them. So that when I'm looking to book tables, I can just type bottle service in my contacts and everything will come up. At the end of the night, okay, so I will be like, hey, thank you guys for coming out. I hope you had a good time. Your tab is taken care of. I just need you guys to tip. Okay, now, don't be like, don't, again, like I said in the first video, do not be giving them an option. Would you like to tip me? No, all I need is you to tip. Okay, and like, I don't care if you gotta ask multiple people in the group or if they gotta put something together. What you got, Craig? I'm broke as a joke. Y'all some hot rollers and y'all broke. Like, I need that tip, sir. I needs it. It's 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 a need to be. This is all you have to do that's left. So definitely make sure you get that tip because that auto gratuity, depending on what like the club I work at now, I usually be having like three tables. Okay, they're two bottle minimums. I get fifty dollars off of each bottle, so that's a hundred dollars off of each table. That's three tables. That's three hundred dollars. That's not enough because of that. A big percentage, probably almost 100 of it, I have to tip out. So it's like, literally, if you wanna make money, that tip is what's really going to get you there, okay? Ask for your tip, you deserve it. Especially me, I know I'm a good server, I know I work hard, like, I'm working for this tip, you're gonna pay it for me. <laughs> you're gonna give it to me, I'm, I'm not going for you now, you will be embarrassed. We will both be embarrassed because I need that tip. Okay, try to learn the menu as much as you can, especially like, Put in your notes, I'm telling you, your notes are gonna be your best friend. Also, one thing that I do, pro tip, I be saving the floor chart every single night as my screensaver. So like, if I'm ever confused, I can just look at my screensaver and that'll have all the table numbers. Or if it's not as complicated and your menu is more complicated, put the menu as your lock screen. Especially like the basic drinks and bottle prices because you don't want to look dumb They're gonna be like, oh, you're trying to finesse me or oh, you don't even know like how don't you know? You know what I mean? Like make sure that you know at least like what mo most stuff will go for um, Especially the popular stuff. It's not that much that's popular like literally know how much a bottle of Henny a bottle of Casamigos and some champagne like that's basically what you need to know and maybe like if you have food definitely just like the wings and whatever is most popular for you guys and those drinks by the shot too because people order them by the shot make sure that you're on time for work that seems obvious but like so many girls aren't like a lot of you it, you get burnt out fast in this industry so you will be a fresh breath of air if you go there and do what you're supposed to do because people don't really do that so if you show up on time you're you're a standout <laughs> like literally nobody does that so 
just showing up on time will make a huge difference and especially in the new girl world because okay i'm gonna get into like new girl server etiquette so as the new girl first off not i'm not okay i'm not gonna say nobody's gonna like you but like the girls are going to be looking at you like you just replaced my friend because that's how they will do it they will fire somebody and then hire them in their place like it's very cutthroat so they're gonna look at you like either you replace my friend or you're here to take my job which is probably somewhat true so there is gonna be you know whoever they usually choose to train you is usually known for being friendly so definitely like be friendly and be kind and be courteous but do not let these girls get in your head do not go there trying to make friends and take everything they say with a grain of salt because they could be trying to send you off or get you in trouble or cut you out of some money so definitely like when it comes to questions like try to ask the managers and then you already know people are going to be doing it a different way i'm gonna give you two examples the first example okay so let's say i was working second shift okay and i have my tables right now one of the girls is running late and there's already somebody seated in a section that is hers okay now my manager comes to me like hey such and such isn't here yet can you take her table right of course i will take it but then it, it's putting you in a hard position because she gonna get there and be mad even though she, it's her fault because she was late and expect you let's say they end up getting bottles and it ends up being a fire table she gonna go to the manager and be like i need you to transfer her commission to me because that's my table like and especially what if they're there for a couple hours and she want her table back like of course you're gonna try to get them out but at the same time let's say that let's say that they already bought one bottle and they want to buy another bottle she's gonna be like you can't sell them that second bottle that's my table you need to close out with them and let me take over like that be a sticky situation that i really was in all the time and the managers would do it they would be like because she'd be like why'd you sell them another bottle like what do you mean this is technically her table but my customers and it's not my, her fault that she was late and i guess i'm just helping her and i guess like that's what it really comes down to is like you got to learn the difference between helping somebody and stepping on somebody's toes and that is like a hard line because like okay so in that situation i'm gonna finish that one and then i'm gonna talk about a few others but so like to me in my head i should be able to fully serve that table until they leave because you were late that's not my fault or my problem like literally but the manager if that girl has been there for a long time he's gonna tell me you need to close out with them and give her her table back or she's gonna be like now you owe me one of your tables like your next table that comes in and buys a bottle i get that like we're trading so like it's just so annoying because it's like and that type of thing will make you and that girl like that girl won't fuck with you now like it, it really be deep to these girls sometimes like the tables like so what do y'all think like that situation like you would do or how you would handle it because that's real life situations that i would be in and then these girls would literally be rude to me because they think i'm stealing their tables because they don't know how to show up on time stop it get some help and they really be hitting you with the oh now you owe me a table like okay <laughs> and then it's like what do you do tell them about themselves like you was the one that was late like how is that like that that's just like oh uh, uh, i hate it i'm not i'm not a person who likes to like i'm not a confrontational person but like i was really being done dirty in this job what is another example that i was about to give okay so let's say that it's very busy and you're walking by a table and they're like hey we need a round of 10 1942 shots okay you need to go tell the server you might think oh that server is dumb busy and i should help them no you should not ever put in a order for a table that is not yours because you could easily just ring them up under a random table have them cash you out right away and nobody would ever know like you don't need access to their tab you can just start them a new tab grab it and go you know and you think you're helping them out but no that server could technically be mad you need to tell them find that server and tell them like hey your table wants this i can ring it in for you if you'd like or do you want do you want to do it you got it or you want me to ring it in like just that simple and sometimes they'll be like oh you can just ring it in or i got it like definitely make sure you give them that heads up that's major um, cause you don't want to be known for stepping on toes for stealing tables, but like, oh my gosh. Okay. Let me tell y'all club out that I'm talking about, right? They would distribute tables unfairly 
as in like with the schedule I would get like three tables and it'd be like two that I booked and one promoter comp table aka I will not be getting any commission off that just a tip if they do tip me um and then another girl would have like six seven eight tables okay and then so I only had three tables it was a slow night right other girl eight tables and I noticed one of the tables was um let's say one of the tables was not sold yet right so the whole night i'm thinking that these people are just sitting here and then i noticed that they had a bottle and so i look in the group chat and i'm like who asked them to bring ice out to their table because that tells me who sold the bottle and i confronted her i was like you brought out a bottle to you know b2 that was my table and she was like oh the manager told me to do it it was a comp bottle and they didn't tip me like is that right or wrong because like she could be telling the truth or she could be lying but at the end of the day that's my table like oh the manager asked me to the managers be, the managers be messy y'all the managers be messy because now they're telling you to bring a table bottle to my table like why would they do that that's my table like it's so annoying like it's it's hard it's hard to like be stern but also it's like <sighs> the manager told like did they i don't know it's just it's just a lot like it's it's a lot it's frustrating especially when you're like when it, it's all about the money like you don't want nobody playing with your money at the end of the day but you like you want to work as a team and you want to be friendly to the other girls but you don't want people like thinking that they can get over on you do not get lit at work y'all do not get lit at work write that down write that down um find a way not to you get messy you have a lot of money involved you might say and do things you don't mean like do not be getting lit um if anything like me personally i don't drink until the very very end of the night where it's like i've already collected all my money i know that there's no like i'm damn near about to check out like that's when i'll have like i'll drink like the last like 15 20 minutes if i am gonna have a drink at work with the customers but um definitely do not drink when you have money involved so other events like if you're going out, like out be mindful of networking and you know try to put yourself out there as a bottle girl you know be giving your number out a lot like this is like opposite advice that i would ever give because i'm anti-men and i hate giving my number out but literally like y'all can have it this summer <laughs> I'm about to be getting a second phone for sure. And if you are in Atlanta or coming to Atlanta, you want to come turn up with me, definitely come through. Um, hit me in the DM and I'll add you to my guest list. We have the best bottle deals in the city and I would love to have you. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day and I'm about to go to work myself. I'll definitely put up some pictures and clips of me at work. Um, yeah, and what else like bottle girl content? I feel like I literally have like done everything bottle girl related now I've done like the interview all of that. I've done multiple come to work with me I've done Come to open call with me. I've done like my Terrible days at work. I've vlogged them the money counts all of that. So make sure that you subscribe Hello, um check out my other content and I hope you guys have a great day My cats are literally been tripping this entire time, but this this is like cute today Go get a bag Period. Okay, there's literally something that I forgot to say And it is about tipping and checkouts when you do your checkout, literally, I would recommend taking a picture of your checkout slip every night and adding it to your notes. And make sure the math makes sense to you because it'd be some weird shit going on with the checkout system. Also, for your tip out, maybe even in the interview, ask about it. But I guess it's not like make or break, but it is important information to know. Like, ask what percentage you're going to be tipping out and exactly who the tip out goes to. Now, I'm typically used to like a tip out between 6 to 10% and usually that's split between your service bar so the bartender that's going to be making all your drinks and also the bar backs that's normally what the tip out goes to now sometimes like i would definitely say you want to be getting cool with the security but if you had a really good night go ahead and tip out you know the security the managers like some people like don't recommend that but me like i believe in like spreading the love and then on top of it if you tip out the manager like say the manager or even the host that's like 
whoever controls seating your tables like at a restaurant it's gonna be the host at the nightclub it's gonna be the manager if they're giving you good clients and you're tipping them back out of that money they're more inclined to be giving you better tables like money talks we're all there to make money even the managers so i would say definitely tip out your managers or your promoters or whoever it is that is like giving you tables to make sure that you can continue to get tables and build that relationship and that respect and keep the money flowing um the barbacks work so hard for us i definitely say tip them out a little extra if you can um security you always want to have them on your side tip them if you can even the cooks like tip them that is who you when i walk into the first thing I, first and only friend i'm making is with the chef i did want to like talk a little bit about the money thing like what is the good night it honestly is so hard to dip, to say that's why like also you might want to ask like what is your busiest night what is your slowest night busy season slow season but like to me i would break it down like to an hourly thing like you want to be making at least 20 25 dollars an hour um but i would say like it also depends on your club but i would say minimally like you want to be able to at least get a job where you can make like i feel like on your best night you should easily be able to make like 500 like if you can make 500 in a club that's a good job but if on your best night you're making like two three hundred that's not that great as far as like the industry standard like you should be able to make five hundred dollars on a friday or saturday night in your club if you can't do that like something is not going right whether it's their structure is the way they have their system set up isn't made for you to make money or maybe it's just a slow club or what but i would bet that like the way that they pay you guys is not right um or follow you're not getting enough tables like something's wrong you should be able to make 500 dollars on a friday and a saturday night as far as other days i would say like two three hundred but you should never work a shift and like not at least make like 150 dollars like minimum um i don't care if it's a tuesday during the day like random off day like 150 minimum like i would say like three 150 is like bare minimum 200 is like decent once you get to like 500 you're like okay that's a good shift and then anything over like a thousand like a thousand dollars is like great and let me tell you right now i have worked jobs where i can make a thousand dollars in a shift i have made probably like my most is probably like i've made a thousand dollars like consistently it's on brunch shifts um at this one job that i had like every single saturday and sunday i was making a band like literally um so it just depends on the job like for real um so yeah i guess that's my little snippets let me know if you guys have any questions